guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I am slightly fired up because this whole thing has me pissed off. It's had me pissed off for a while, but now that I've found out more, I am more annoyed. So if I'm more bitchy than usual, amen to that, I suppose. I apologize if I look down, but I took notes because there's a lot we need to cover. I'll link the whole article discussing all this, but it is fairly long. I think we're all familiar with the brand Brandy Melville. So Brandy Melville is a fast fashion brand that has been notorious throughout the years for catering pretty much exclusively to the smaller sizes, as in their one size only for a lot of things and that one size a size four sometimes to me it looks smaller then again i don't know because i've never fit into a size four save like maybe 10 years ago and even then no anyway they've been notorious for being a one size only shop that caters to typically according to their own instagram and according to what they want for their own image thin white girls predominantly like I said, the size thing has always been an issue. And I thought that was bad enough, frankly, because I just think it's shitty. But I think it's also, if we just look at it from a business perspective, no emotions, nothing like that. It's like, wouldn't you want more people to be able to buy your clothes? So more people buy your clothes instead of having people be kind of shamed for not being able to fit in what is equivalent to a size small, at least in the US. That already pissed me off by itself. But employees have come out, I believe it's around 30 employees, have come out to talk about the business practices of Brandy Melville. And some of it is truly, truly alarming and frankly, quite reminiscent of American Apparel. Do you guys remember American Apparel? I used to live for that brand when I was in high school. So there is one key name in this that I want you to recall, and that name is Stefan Marson. So he is the founder, CEO, and owner of Brandy Melville. There will be other names that will be sprinkled in here and there. All you have to know is that they're executive employees. I don't wanna introduce a big string of names and make things really confusing. And most of all, it's important to remember, Marson is in charge of all of this. So he is the key figure, in my opinion, of the villain, the piece of shit. There's so many words we could use. So there are gonna be a couple of categories here that we need to discuss. Race, minors, appearance, and then what I labeled as extras because they would all be separate categories otherwise. Marson had a bone to pick with people who were not white. So he basically, first of all, admitted that he didn't want black people to be seen wearing Brandy Melville. So he didn't want black paying customers like anyone else just because they were black and he didn't want them to be seen wearing his brand, which in and of itself is obviously racist, but just so despicable and gross. And that was something that he apparently was quite open with, with the other employees and executives. They had a group chat, especially amongst the executives. So this is where all of this was shared. Screenshots were shown. I'll put them up where necessary. He also had a thing against hiring black people generally. He preferred hiring white, rich looking, thin girls, you know, kind of like if you've seen any Brandy Melville pictures or their Instagram or anything, you kind of already know what demographic or what look they were going for, which is very 2012 Tumblr vibes. Aside from that, in terms of race, in this famous group chat, there were memes that were shared that I'll put on screen. And some of these memes were about Hitler, which initially I thought, is this trying to be like edgy humor or something? But then there was a picture shared of people doing the salute. And that's when I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is a lot more serious and a lot more concerning than I thought because it seems like a legitimate belief set and not just like 13 year olds trying to be contrarians in their group chats. And that was shared in the group chat. Just, I wanna underline that because I wanna underline how comfortable Marson was with sharing these types of things with that many people that he worked with. Like that's how comfortable he was, which I think is in and of itself alarming because, well, I don't have to explain, it's alarming. One thing we need to remember about Brandy Melville, and if you've been in a Brandy Melville store, you'll probably know this, a lot of the employees are young. Some are as young as 14 years old, so many of them are minors, and it's part of their aesthetic to have thin, white, 
young girls that are typically high school or college type ages because that is the demographic that buys from them the most, right? So just keep in mind, some of these employees are as young as 14. Apparently, executives would ask employees to try new clothing in front of them. And when I say trying new clothing in front of them, there were some employees who reported that they got stripped down basically to just underwear when they were trying their new clothes. And on top of that, to make it worse, it was also believed that if you did that, you would get a higher pay. On the note of pay, it also was alleged that people's pay was determined based on their appearance. So it wasn't even necessarily based on your role from, you know, manager or anything else. A lot of it was just what you looked like and how pleasing you were to Marson and the other executives. Now, the important thing to note is that Marson micromanaged a lot and you'll see that more later. So when I blame a lot of things on Marson, it's because he was very intent on making all of these decisions, no matter how minute they were or no matter how in other companies you'd have a manager make that decision. But instead, Marson was just very much in it which could have been a positive thing, but clearly it was turned into a perverse thing. In terms of minors, there were also allegations of executives taking employees out to get drinks, even minor employees, or sending drinks like a bottle of wine to employees, also minor employees. So the whole behavior towards minors was inappropriate to say the least. I find it very concerning. We'll get to a particular story where someone was taken advantage of, they were not a minor, but regardless, the behavior towards women and girls, frankly, is just disgusting and really just makes me feel gross, very grimy, very much creepy old men that want to just see young girls and take advantage of them and hold things over their heads, right? Because at the end of the day, Marson is the person who can make you lose your job. So you want to be nice to this person, even though they're trash. So appearance was a really big part of this. Like I said, people needed to send in photos to be hired, which is why I said this is reminiscent of American Apparel because that was a thing, which I already think in and of itself is creepy. Unless you're modeling for someone, I don't really know why you would need to send in a picture unless it's like a passport picture for a file. It's just creepy. It very much has the vibe of old men who want to see women and young girls in strange positions, not literally, but also potentially literally. And it just comes off as extremely grimy and extremely like creepy old man who's taking advantage of his position in order to put women and girls in these uncomfortable positions. And we also need to recall there are some of these employees who were in the US on a visa, so they needed to have a job in order to remain in the US. So for some people, it really was a make or break. They really had to stay, even though the situation was fucking horrible. And so I feel like that adds an extra level of gross as if it weren't gross enough. Like I said, you needed photos to be hired, and in that same way, photos could get you fired in the sense of if any of these girls slash women gained weight, that would be a problem and that could cause you to lose your entire job. And in fact, Marson requested daily photos of the employees to monitor their appearance. So Marson was directly getting photos of all these employees every single day to monitor whether they were up to the standard, which is so fucked up and so weird. And in fact, there's one photo with a screenshot. Now, one thing I need to say that I forgot to say earlier that isn't that important, but Brandy Melville is an Italian brand. So a lot of these names are in Italian. A lot of the texts are in Italian, which thankfully is my first language, so. But one of the texts really exemplifies how shitty they were about appearances. So there's this text with a picture of one of the new employees. And it says, this one is at Newport and does recruitment only of pieces of shit or am I wrong? Watch out or she'll destroy our store. So they're talking about whoever does the recruitment, re recruiting a girl that apparently did not meet the standards in with the picture of said girl who doesn't meet the standards. The person who was speaking to Stefan who responded said, you're right. In fact, I never approve her picks, whoever is the recruiter. And we have Sam and Krista that are sending us other girls and he's like, fire her. Clearly the recruiting aspect of employees was very appearance centric. Referring back to the weight aspect of appearance, 
Marson visiting stores could prompt store-wide diets. So Marson would come and like I said, he was micromanaging a lot. It wasn't just like the big boss who checks in every so often. It was very much, he was very present there and trying to always see what was going on, which like I said, could have had a positive impact, but positivity is dead. So anytime he would come, if he saw that people were above the size, weight, look, whatever of what he wanted, it could start a store-wide diet, which there were no details on of like what that diet included, but I can imagine that it would be eating very low calories, probably working out excessively. So the calories and the working out basically cross each other out in order to lose weight quickly. If not, maybe just not eating. The rabbit hole I could go down just scares me. Employees even said that this fueled eating disorders, whether they had them before or whether they were born out of this. People were really, really suffering at the hands of Marcin in so many different ways. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why this is abominable because it was so all encompassing. It's like, it's how you look, it's how much you weigh, it's what you wear, it's sending pictures of yourself every day so you're always stressed out about how you look. Thinking about it makes me stressed out. One really creepy factoid is that Marson allegedly had a folder of just one employee. He didn't have folders of every employee. Apparently he had a folder of one employee with every single picture he was ever sent of her. And remember, employees had to send pictures of themselves every day. And he had a folder of one person. Here's to hoping that person at least was not a minor because that would add an extra level of creepy and potentially criminal. So the last section I have, which I called extras, like I said, because there's so many things that would require their own categories. So there was a kind of tier system with the Brandy Melville girls slash women. And that basically meant there were some that were called quote unquote special snowflakes. And these special snowflakes were basically preferred employees. So the executives would give them company credit cards and give them a spending amount to use with a company credit card. They'd be invited on trips abroad, Hawaii, Italy, things like that. And they were also allowed to use, and I cannot emphasize how creepy this one is, the Brandy apartment, which was a two floor apartment in Soho with five bedrooms where they could just stay, which just seems really strange to me. I can't really fathom a world where that is necessary or normal in any way. And this is where it gets even darker. So one employee was allegedly raped at said apartment by Castañasso, Andrea Castañasso, who was a close friend of Marcin and who also owned a couple Brandy Melville stores in Italy. She showed Insider, because the article is by Insider, medical records that she actually went to the hospital to get treated preemptively for any type of STD and so on. Another thing is that drug use was apparently encouraged. Now, because there were really long hours and some employees like would essentially work all night, basically what happened is that employees started taking Adderall in order to be able to function and continue to do their jobs. And apparently the executives were not only okay with this, but were actively saying, yes, do that in order to do your job. Last of all, and I think this is like the most minimal thing in comparison to everything we've just discussed, apparently designs were stolen all over the place, which isn't surprising from any fast fashion brand, but apparently Brandy Melville employees would just show executives or higher ups pictures from Tumblr and be like, oh, look at this shirt, look at this design, whatever. And within no frame of time, the executives would say yes or no, and they'd start screen printing this, obviously without crediting an artist, without paying an artist, nothing. So they would just steal these designs offline and immediately just translate them into their own products. And because their products were basically one size only, they saved an incredible amount of money because basically you're just printing the same shirt five billion times without having to make any alterations to the size or the dimensions or anything which helped them cut costs. And that's also why a lot of their stuff was quote unquote affordable. All in all, I think that based on my tone and um, overall demeanor here, it's very clear that I don't stand by this. I already had my own problem with Brandy Melville with the one size only. The few times I went there, I often went actually with my mom because she fits the size I don't. And it was very uncomfortable for me, obviously like, 
I'm not the blonde, tall, thin, whatever. And that's fine, but it was just really alienating because even when I'd go in there to get like a choker or something, it always felt like you were being sized up. Sized up. <laughs> Which is actually accurate because I'm pretty sure that, you know, like there was some manager there who had some kind of fixation on people's sizes and can we hire her or can we not hire her that they everyone they looked at wasn't necessarily someone buying but someone who could be a potential recruit anyways you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching thank you to my patrons as always and i'll catch you guys next time <laughs>